guys, so today I thought I'd just do a quick little video, uh, mainly because I wanted to do it. So this is one of the bags that I recently made for myself uh, that is a video. It's Kaylee by KM Designs. And I used a fabric or vinyl um, zipper end. But now that I have these in stock, I've decided I want to add one of these to it instead. So when you buy them, I, I sell them in packs of two. So you'll get a zipper end and you get like a mini little screw as well. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is cut this off. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of slit every third or fourth thread to pull it out. Now I'm not too worried if I damage this piece of vinyl because I will just be throwing it out. So I can be a little bit more rough than I normally would if this was a different project. So now that I've gone and done that, this should, I say should because sometimes it still doesn't want to, it should just come off. So you can also just pull from the back thread and most of it will then come undone for you. So there we go. That is the old one off. You just also want to make sure you take off all of these bits. So now we're just, except for that bit there, that's where my back stitching was. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the zipper over itself like this. You just want to fold it into the center like so and then I just slip this end on. Now because I've just cut there I'm going to cut a little bit more of the zipper off just to make sure I can hide that bit. You should probably get some actual proper scissors for this. So I'm just going to grab some scissors and chop off that end bit like that and then I'm going to fold under and under and then you just slot the zipper end in and you want to push it all the way in until you feel it hit the back of the zipper. And then this I got on eBay. This is just an electric mini screwdriver. So it takes some batteries. So I'm just going to use that and screw the screw through the zipper. Now I think my batteries are dying, but that's okay. You can just use a normal screwdriver. So you just want to screw it in until it's flush with the, um, the metal. That's better. And now that won't come off because it's pierced through the actual zipper tape. And that's how easy it is. And then you have a fancy zipper end. So there you go, guys. Hope that was helpful.